If you enjoyed the tutorial, please like and subscribe. You can find me on Twitch, link in the description. This is pretty straightforward, so let's get the show on the road. The first thing you're gonna need are your pens, rabbit or fox. I'm doing both, I think you should too. Next are small traps, I recommend four to eight. Then your fodders, of course common and fox fodder. I'm gonna recommend 20. You'll notice on fox fodder, it says about rabbit hay. You get a ton of this from your rabbit pen, but you won't have it right now, so just use raw meat. These are the total resources needed. I'll keep them in the top right corner so you can keep an eye. The last thing you're gonna need are a couple indentured servants. I mean, recruits. First, place your pen. You can put your recruit on now, or you can do it later. It's up to you. I highly recommend going to a fox location or a rabbit location on your map. It's not necessary, but it is much easier. At these locations, you will find these little holes. These are just where the foxes and rabbits go to sleep or whatever they do. This is the best way to catch them. Take your small trap and it will snap straight to one of these holes. Then as a fox or rabbit's running through them, you will eventually get one. But if you're a mad lad and want to chase them in for some reason, you can do that as well. Just slap a trap down in front of them. And as you can see, foxes love jumping in these with a little chase. You can see your new pet in your inventory. Don't worry, these will not spoil. So if you wanted to catch them and store them away for later, you can. Now return back home and you can put your animal into its pen. Now put your fodder into the top part of the inventory and it goes into the pen. If you haven't got a recruit on here, you will have to hold E over the fodder to watch the food amount rise. Let's check out all these options. So on this, we can see the total number of animals we have as well as the gender splits and if there's babies. You can also see the birth rate and mortality rate. This is not something to worry about for small animals. Neither is mood or the environment. They're just kind of able to live it. It's more important for medium and above. I've got a video on that if you want to see it. When it comes to food, I'd say just top it up to 100% with the fodder and then as it drops, top it up again. This one is pretty cheap. As long as you keep a recruit, these guys will stay alive. Congratulations! You now have an up and running animal farm. But if you're ready to come play with the big boys, by which I mean the medium boys, and start getting into boars, deers, and wolves, then I've got a video for you. Cause that's when stuff gets juicy. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Twitch, link in the description. Catch you later. Bye bye.